Hi everyone, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this photo gallery that we created in the last video to your blogger or your WordPress websites. So let's get started. So I have logged into my blogger account and um, first of all, let's go ahead to pages and create a new page. And uh, we'll just title this photo gallery. And uh, here we'll paste our HTML code. So go to your code editor and uh, paste in all that is inside the body tag. So we'll select from uh, the division gallery container and uh, select till the division ends. And then simply copy and paste this into our blogger page. So if you're in the compose mode, you have to go to the HTML mode and then just paste the HTML code over here. All right, now we need to change the source of the images because uh, images directory is not available in our blogger website. So let's delete this from here and let's add the images. So just click on this button called insert image and uh, then click on choose files. This is our project folder. So let's go to images and uh, we'll select all these images and then click on open. So all our images are uploaded. Let's start with the first image and click on add selected and then click on original size and uh, OK. So our first image has been added over here. So we just need the source of the image. So we just delete everything from here to here and uh, also remove everything after the source. So we'll just delete these code over here and uh, here we have the source of the first image. Now we'll do the same with all the images. So just select the second image, delete it and uh, click on insert image from this block and uh, select the second image and add selected original size. OK, so I'll just speed up the process of doing this with all the images. Alright, so we have updated the source of all the images. Now let's click on publish. And our page has been published. Now let's add the CSS to our theme. So go to theme and then click on customize and then click on advanced and then go to add CSS. And here we can add all the CSS. So let's go to VS code. The source code will be available in the description below. So just go to style.css and uh, select all these CSS and uh, paste it over here and then click on apply to blog and then back to blogger. Now let's go to pages and uh, let's see how it looks. So click on view. So here we can see our photo gallery is being displayed and uh, we also have the description and the animation working all right. But the problem is that the width of our photos is not what we wanted. That is because uh, in our original design, we had the full width of the browser as the photo gallery container. But here we can see in this theme, we have just a limited amount of width. So we have to make some changes in our CSS for it to work correctly. So first of all, we need to change this to have just two images in a row. So let's go to our blogger dashboard and go to theme, customize, go to advanced and add CSS. And uh, here we will change this images container style to 1fr, 1fr and we'll remove the third 1fr. So now it will display just two images at the beginning. So let's click on apply to blog and uh, let's refresh our page. And now we can see just two images are being displayed and uh, the width and everything looks all right. Now let's resize the window and see how it works.
so everything is working all right so that's how you add the photo gallery that we designed to your blogger website now let me show you how to add this to your wordpress website here i have logged into my wordpress dashboard so first of all let's add the css so we are using a plugin called custom css and js if you don't have this plugin you can go to plugins click on add new and search for this plugin and click on install and activate all right now let's go to custom css and click on add custom css and we'll add the title photo gallery css and let's add the css over here so select everything and uh, copy everything over here and then click on publish all right our css has been published all right now let's go to post or we can even add a page so let's add a page for now add new and we'll just add a title now here you have to add your html so first of all you have to go to this options button and then click on code editor now here we can add our html so let's go to vs code and uh, copy our uh, gallery container division and we'll just paste it over here now just like we did with our blogger website we need to also change the source over here so you can go to media and click on add new and you can upload your files over here and then you can copy the link to this source so first of all let us select files and uh, we'll select all the files all right all our files have been uploaded now let's click on edit on each of these files so just right click over here and click on open link in new tab and uh, under edit here we can see the file URL so you have to copy this to the source of our images so I'll just copy everything and uh, paste it in the first source so I'll do this with all the images So the sources of all our images have been updated now let's click on publish and uh, let's view the page here also we have the same problem that uh, we have this container which has a limited width so let's go to our css and uh, we will update the css so click on custom css and js and uh, then edit our photo gallery css and uh, here instead of 1fr three times we'll just remove the last one and then click on update our css has been updated now let's go over here to our page and refresh our page and we can see we have two images in a row let's see how it looks uh, when we are on a mobile device all right everything is working all right so that's basically how you add a custom photo gallery to your WordPress or your blogger websites. And that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. I will also leave the link of the source code in the description. And uh, click on the like button if you enjoyed this video. And subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.